Hello there, my name is Eric Grubaugh, and I run Stoic Software as a NetSuite technical advisor. You are likely here because you are looking to create or scale up your own NetSuite development team. And what I hope you get out of this video and those that follow is some information and inspiration so that as you build your own team, you can avoid some common mistakes and get it right the first time. Now, once upon a time, I was a development manager for a NetSuite solution provider. Our sales and marketing had just done a phenomenal job of filling up our project pipeline. And I was tasked with doubling the size of our NetSuite development team from seven developers to 13 developers and four quality assurance analysts. At the time, our development services was fairly young and we had a number of challenges that we would need to overcome in order to scale the team effectively. So first, it was incredibly difficult for us to find experienced NetSuite developers. We hired multiple recruiting agencies, we posted on multiple job boards, and still almost no one was coming to us with NetSuite experience. On the rare occasion someone did claim to have NetSuite experience, uh, once we actually interviewed them, we got a different story and they were often unable to answer rudimentary JavaScript or SweetScript questions, uh, immediately calling into question not only their skills, but more importantly, their integrity. And so since we weren't able to find experienced developers, that meant whenever we did hire anyone, we needed to train them. Um, at the time, we had no structured training program. Our onboarding consisted of a few days or maybe a week of shadowing a senior developer. And after that, we threw them straight into the deep end with some smaller client projects. So with this unstructured approach, we were seeing an average ramp up time of about three to six months. And as you might imagine, months of an underutilized developer is incredibly costly for the company. And we also had a major challenge in delivering code efficiently. So we had an extremely unsophisticated project management process and no good deployment strategy to speak of. Uh, we could not associate code changes back to project tasks. We were not effectively tracking our code changes in the first place, and we were not easily able to roll back uh, our changes if something did go wrong during or after deployment. So all of these issues combined made for an incredibly stressful team environment, uh, strained relations with our clients, and extremely high turnover. So most of our developers were leaving within six months due to the lack of training and the chaotic environment. So therefore, not only were we losing a ton of money on these unproductive developers, but by the time they were getting to be productive and getting the hang of things, they were leaving. Um, so this is a massive waste of time, money, energy, um, and it also made for very strained and unstable client relationships because from the client's perspective, they're meeting a new developer every few months and wondering what's going on. So these are the challenges that I hope this video series helps you to avoid altogether. Um, stay tuned for the next video in which we will discuss how we were able to drastically reduce that turnover by creating a much more stringent hiring process. Um, see you soon.